Well, that, and that's why I want to touch on that point, because Secre uh, General Dempsey a moment ago outlined uh, the need to have a broad coalition that I imagine involves these Sunni uh, countries, for example, the Jordanians, uh, the Saudis, uh, the UAE, and others. These are also countries, by the way, that are deeply concerned about Iran. And they feel, as, is it not right that they feel that we've kept them in the dark about our negotiations with Iran? In essence, the way we've proceeded with our negotiations in Iran have impacted our trust level with these critical allies in this coalition. Senator, is that, accurate? That, that actually is flat wrong, also. Flat wrong. They said so I, publicly. I just, uh, it's flat wrong. I just came back from a meeting in the Gulf in Riyadh. I met with King Salman, who completely supported what we're doing. I met with all of the GCC members. They all sat around a table, and they all articulated their support for what we're doing, and they believe we are better off trying to prevent them from getting a bomb diplomatically first, providing, of course, that it actually prevents them from getting that bomb. That's the test of this. And a whole bunch of people are trying to give this a grade before the test has even been taken. So you're, you're saying here today that our allies in the region, our Sunni allies, the Saudis, the UAE, the Egyptians, and others, are perfectly comfortable no, with where the negotiations I didn't stand say at that. this moment. I did not say that. They are not perfectly comfortable. They're nervous. They're apprehensive. Of course they are. They want to make sure that, in fact, just as members of Congress want to make sure that the deal that is struck, if one can be struck now, will, in fact, prevent them from Have getting Have you shared with them the details of where it stands right now? We've shared considerable details with them, absolutely. And we are they apprehensive them. about that, or are they comfortable with what you shared with them? Uh, they're comfortable with what we shared with them, and Saud al-Faisal, the senior foreign minister in the world, I might add, uh, publicly sat with me at a press conference in which he articulated their support for what we're doing.